We're going to talk about this rumor that I hate case knives. Well, it's not really a rumor. Well, maybe it is, but I probably started it. And we need to talk about that. Case knives, traditional knives, case cutlery. Do I really hate them? We're going to talk about this a little bit. And knife steals. I'm at my home studio, my little office here. Down the hill country, Lake LBJ. Beautiful down here, but I've got to go for a walk working all day but I have to go for a walk because I have this heart thing and I gotta walk every day whether I like it or not and I don't particularly like it I mean it's beautiful out here don't get me wrong it's a beautiful neighborhood it's very nice a lot of people walk a lot of people do that but when I'm busy it's really hard to do that so I'm gonna go for a walk and because misery loves company I think I'm gonna take you with me So let's talk about steel for a few minutes. What case is used in, from my understanding, and their stainless is a 420HC. I could be wrong, I don't work at case. Maybe they can make comment down below, or maybe you can, let me know. The edge retention, again, isn't very good on 420. Great blade for collecting, not really for using every day. And that's most of what I carry in the store, knives people use every day. To be clear, I use case knives. I carry case knives, and we carry the carbon steel, not the stainless. But I sure would like to carry the entire line. I'd be a big case dealer if they had improved their steel. I just can't recommend the stainless for everyday use, only for collecting. I'm not negative case, but when you look at knives the way I do, where I look at the whole world and what's being created in cutlery across the entire world, case, it's, it's time to step up. It's time to improve that steel. Before I talk any more about steel, we're going to cover some different stainlesses. Hit that thumbs up, like this video, hit the subscribe button, and then ring the bell. If there's something I could be doing better, by all means, get in the comments. Let me know what you think. That'll help. I'm new to all this vlogging stuff. I'm just an old retailer. So let me know what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Please subscribe because it'll help our channel, help drive more business to our site. That's always helpful. All right, so what other stainlesses could they be using? There's a lot of great stainlesses. I mean a lot now. They've come up with a lot over the years. Uh, 420 is kind of at the bottom of the edge retention options. From there it goes up to uh, 440A. I wouldn't make the switch from 420 to 440A just because, you know, it's not spectacular edge retention there either. The next step up would probably be Aus 8 maybe, but even that out of Japan, not a, not a great option. If you're gonna improve the steel, improve it. I like 440C a lot. 440C is a nice steel, definitely better edge retention than, than 420HC. And it's easy to sharpen. It's one of the easier stainlesses to sharpen up, so 440C would be good. I, can, I could buy into 440C. But going up from there and edge retention, I like VG10. You know, Spyderco became famous on VG10. It's a great steel, great edge. A little more brittle than some of these other stainlesses, but but a good steel. Holds an edge better, definitely better. And boy, it's sharp. It's a really sharp steel. So VG10 would be a good option. Now you can go up from there, go to 154CM or ATS34, depending on what country you want to get it in. I think Crucible's 154CM is a great high-end stainless, and that's a fantastic way to go. I don't know price-wise, though, whether they could do that. Um, but boy, I sure would like to see it. Can you imagine a case knife with 154 CM? Now, if you're going to go up from there, if you really want to get ambitious, you would be increasing the cost of the knife quite a bit, but you can go to a powdered steel, do a limited run. Case knives and CPM steels from Crucible. CPM 154 would be a, a great knife if you want to get a good shine. People looking at me really weird because I'm walking around the neighborhood with a camera. They're all thinking I'm you know, taping them. No. Because it's all about me after all, isn't it? So powdered steel would be a great option. CPM steels, any of the CPM steels from Crucible, uh, Bowler steels, the M390, any, any of the powdered steels. Carpenter, 
Uh, there's a lot of Latrobe. There's a lot of great potted steels out there. Any of those would be phenomenal. My ranchers would absolutely love it if you all did that over a case. But I don't know that that will ever happen because they're still very expensive. All right, you're going to stick with the stainless. I pick 440C or VG10, either one. But you know, I'm not a manufacturer. I'm a retailer that wants to sell case knives. And I want to sell a lot of them. And I really can only sell the carbon steel knives right now because I like their carbon steel. And I can't sell their stainless, and their stainless represents the, the vast majority of their models. So what do I do? I don't get case, and that, that makes me sad. So let me put this message out to case. Case knives, fit and finish is great. I love that you're doing traditional knives and that you're sticking with what what you're doing. I, I, I love traditional knives. My first knife was a old timer, Uncle Henry. That uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm a traditional guy. I'm 60 years old. Love traditional knives. But you're going to have to improve the steel. Steel is improving around the world, and in knives now, if you're going to compete against everything else that's out there, you have to improve the steel. Time to do something. Meanwhile, we'll keep selling the carbon steel case knives. We like that. And uh, we're proud to have them in the store. There's a lot of other steel out there. There's tooling steels, other carbon steels. Of course, all the stainlesses and powdered steels. If you'd like to know more about steel, by all means, come on down to the store. We'll be happy to help you out. And again, go down and hit the uh, like button, a little thumbs up, hit the thumbs up. Do me a favor and subscribe, help us out, ring the bell, let us know we're doing okay. And if you have some ideas of other vlogs or other videos you'd like me to do, do me a favor and make a comment down below and let me know. Meanwhile, from Horseshoe Bay, Texas, till next time.